Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly reading for January 26th to February 1st. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So guys, we're going to go ahead and do a quick shuffle here on camera, go over a couple really quick announcements, and then we're going to get into the reading, okay? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Libras today, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do my Libras need to hear today, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, January 26th to February 1st, please, Spirit. What love messages do my Libras need to hear today, please, Spirit? Hold on one moment. Guys, I'm sorry. My neighbors were playing some loud music. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, so guys, if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click the red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this reading. I do choose multiple winners every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and this month I'm giving away jewelry too. I'm so excited. Um, so Libra, if you're currently subscribed and you did not see the announcement for the winners for January, it will, the link is listed in the description box below I'll, uh, it will be listed below um check it out because guys you only have till the last day of january to claim your winnings okay um make sure you click that notification bell guys so you know when my readings post and you know when the announcement for the winners comes out okay um i am not taking personal readings at the moment uh, you can still go onto my website though if you are interested in viewing my tarot collection. I do have over a hundred decks. Um, there's links to purchase on all of them. Today we're going to be using the Ethereal Visions Tarot. We're going to be using the Romance Angels, um, the Energy Oracle, the Quantum Oracle, and the Moonology Oracle. Okay. Ooh, Libra. Under the deck we have the Tower. Aries Energy. So guys, eh. The tower isn't always bad. Let's see what the what the uh, oracle has to say. But the tower is basically, I don't want to say change per se. It's something falling apart so we could come back together again. Okay, let's just put it that way. Um, and come back together in a better way, in a more solid way. Spirit, what messages, what messages do we have for my Libras, please? Deceit. Someone may be lying here, Libra. Could be you, could be your person, okay? You may find out that somebody was lying about something. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Libras, please? Oh. Well, reconciliation popped out. I'm not going to take it because, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. Trust, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Interesting. Okay. So we may find out that someone here was lying, Libra, yet at the same time, spirit is saying to trust, to trust in what? In God, the universe, trust. We have forgiving and learning under the deck. Let's see where this is going. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Libras? Okay. Letting go. Letting go. Maybe trust that letting go of this is for the best. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Libra's Holy Spirit? Too many cards. The answers you need are coming. So Libra, if you've been questioning a situation here, wondering should I stay or should I go, uh, something is really about to pop off here and you're about to get the answers that you need to maybe trust that the right thing to do is really to let go. We have look at the bigger picture under the deck. So there may be, you know, something here that you're not seeing and that answer is going to be coming in. I'm excited. I'm curious now. I'm nosy as shit. I want to know what's going on. All right. So let's see. We have the emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. This could be a father figure, could be a husband. Um, overall, though, it's someone with authority, okay? We have the strength card, Leo energy, the devil, Capricorn energy, the lovers, Gemini energy. My goodness, guys, it's all major arcana. The eight of cups, justice, Libra energy. Wow, we have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five major arcana right from the get-go good lord all right so what i'm seeing here that someone is in the recent past has been very firm 
very firm, very in control of themselves. They've been holding back from toxic behavior, holding back from cheating, whatever, you know, may have been hurting the situation. Um, with the lover's card here, I feel that a decision was made um, for somebody to walk away from something. With the Eight of Cups and with the Justice card, this was because it was the right thing to do. So what I'm getting here is that some, some of you may have been married. Uh, some of you may just have a very strong connection with this person. Um, but a decision in the recent past was made that this person was no longer going to cheat, no longer going to lie. They were choosing you and they were going to walk away from anything that... You you know was getting in the way of you and this person so no more cheating they were going to do the right thing what's happening now the three of wands well this could be a long distance connection um or this person or you may be yearning for something the wheel of fortune the five of cups the ace of pentacles The Seven of Cups. The King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. <sighs> okay, so this person came in in the recent past wanting to reconcile, telling you that, listen... I lied, but I'm going to control myself from this point forward. I'm not going to do anything to hurt you. That's what they're telling you. Or that's what you're telling somebody, Libra. Okay, don't forget this can be vice versa. Um, now, what I'm seeing here is that somebody here is yearning. Someone here is waiting for that ship to come in. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups, I'm getting a real big sense of someone here is has suffered a lot okay and they're very confused as to whether or not this offer coming in this apology coming in is the best thing for them so you're still keeping your distance here libra you haven't taken the offer yet from what i'm seeing with the king of cups even though you have mastered that emo you know even though you feel deeply about this person you're holding back you're mastering this emotion you're mastering it. You're, you're trying to overcome how you feel here. All you seem to be looking at right now is the bad things that this person has done to you. You're not looking at the love. Um, and as much as you may be missing this person, as much as you may have quite possibly waited for them to come back, now that they're here, you just don't know if you can trust them, period. We have the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Energy. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. So with the Empress, for some of you, few of you may actually, you know, find out that you're pregnant. Um, for others of you, this could just be, you know, this offer for a new beginning can be a lot. Um, the Empress is also married. So maybe someone in is trying to, someone is trying to come in and reconcile in a way where they're like, okay, let's get married, you know. Um, but with the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords, you're not trusting in this connection. You're not trusting that this person has changed. You're not trusting that this person's intentions are good. The Hierophant is a priest. You know what I'm saying? You're not trusting that this person is coming towards you with good intentions. And with the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, um, no matter how hard it is for you, you're trying to withhold from this person. Some way, somehow, you know that this person has a very strong hold on you. Some way, somehow, you know that this person may potentially weasel their way back in. And you know for a fact that this person is not good news. This is someone who has deceived you. Um, this is someone that's hurt you. This is someone who's betrayed your trust, let you go. And, you know, I think that once that happened and that tower fell, I have to be honest with you, I feel like the tower either it has already happened or it's going to happen and this is going to happen in the future okay so what i'm seeing though is that they did all these horrible things to you and 
after they left, after they walked away, you just kept wondering, maybe because you didn't really have closure on the situation, um, wondering where they were, if they were coming back, what's going on. And now that they're back and they're asking for your forgiveness, you've come to the realization with the Nine of Swords here, I can't do it. As much as I love this person, as much as I, I've been wanting them to come back, you have your answer. You can't continue on with this person because there is absolutely no trust here. There's absolutely no trust here. And as much as you love them, you just know it's never going to work because this person, you, you, you literally cannot see this person ever doing right by you, quite frankly. Okay, um, but I do feel that for a lot of you, you went through this really horrendous period where maybe that this relationship ended so quickly and you just found out so quickly how they betrayed you, hurt you. Like I'm talking like maybe you walked in and found this person in bed with someone else. You just left and didn't talk to them again. Like it just ended so quickly that there wasn't that level of closure, you know, um, and now, you know, you kind of spent a little bit of time like yearning for this person, missing this person, not understanding why this happened to you. But now that they're coming back, now that they're coming back, I feel like you have somehow or some way you've gotten the closure to let go. You've gotten the answers that you needed from maybe the conversations that you guys have had. And even though it hurts you with the nine of swords, I think you're realizing that, you know, all you want to do is hold back from this person. Like you don't feel like you can put the work in because you can't give them your heart. You see how she's like in bed, crawled in a ball and she's holding onto her pentacle really tight. I feel like that pentacle is your heart. Like you're like, no, I don't want to give it to you. You know, I, I just don't want to give it to you. Okay. Um, and that's what I'm seeing here. And with the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords does not trust. You know, she just, she's very guarded. She's not a trusting energy. And, um... As much as you may want this new beginning, as much as you may want to take this offer, you just can't. And you're coming, that's the answer that you needed. You know, all those what ifs that you were asking yourself are now answered. You just can't. It has nothing to do with what this person says or does anymore. They can't fix it. They, they just, they did something that is unfixable and you're gaining closure. Okay. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you soon. Please be sure to like if this resonated. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. Drop a comment. Let me know how this resonates. See you guys soon. Bye.